All right, so today we have Evon super set. So we're gonna get warmed up first. 10 jumping jacks, whether it's high impact or 10 low impact. Once you have done your 10, we're gonna alternate 10 front lunges. Nice tall posture, keep that core nice and tight. Don't worry about getting the back knee right down to the floor. We're gonna do five on the left, five on the right to make up your 10. We're just gonna get those hips, knees, ankles warmed up. And then once you have done your 10, we're gonna do leg swings front and back. Hold on to something if you need to for balance. But we're gonna do 10 swings per leg. Good. If you put your eyes on the focal point, that will help with your balance. Still keeping that core nice and tight, just swing arms, opposite leg, getting that hip a bit more warm down, ready to rock and roll. All I'm over this morning. All right, 10 on each leg, and then once you have done your 10, we're gonna come down on the floor, high plank or push up position. So we're on our hands, we're on our toes. We're gonna take one foot, step it nice and wide to the same hand, that's a spider climb. Then we take that hand and we open it up towards the ceiling. So hands and toes, step wide, open up towards your ceiling, step that foot back. Same thing, other side. Eyes follow the hand. Take an extra second, really get into that shoulder, chest, and hip. 10 total, so five on the left, five on the right. And once you have done your 10 spider climb rotations, stay down in the plank. And we're gonna finish with either 10 plank toe taps or 10 plank jacks. So either jump or step the feet up to the side. And then come on up. And your very first EMOM super set is 10 overhead shoulder presses followed by a 10 second squat hold. And we're gonna get both movements done within the 60 second time frame. We have five supersets that we're gonna work through. We're gonna do each superset four times through. Deal? So with this first one, I want you to try and stay on my pace just so that nobody can cheat with that 10 second squat hold. So grab two dumbbells that you are good to press overhead with. So 10 shoulder presses. 10 second squat hold. All right. Here we go. Hands up, palms out. We got 10. So make sure you got that nice tall posture, abs are tight. Getting those biceps to ears. Knees are soft. Add a push press if you need to as we go through the four rounds. We got two left. Now you can do the squat hold with or without weight. Totally up to you. All right, grab a seat, let's go. 10 second hold. Five, four, three, two, come on up, shake it out, good. 20 second break, grab water. If you need to go heavier or lighter for round two, you've got that time to make the change. 10 more seconds, we're gonna rinse and repeat the same thing. All right, find your weight. Five seconds left on that clock. You can stay in your feet or go side by side. Turn it to you. Here we go. Up. Get those biceps to ears. Nice big full range of motion. Watch your lower back. Make sure you're not arching the back to push the weight up. Nice work. Four more. Good. Two more. And then we're going to hold that squat. You got it, with or without weight. Grab a seat, here we go. Chest up, hips back, eyes are up. Don't look down at your feet. Come on, five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, come on up. Nice work. 20 seconds, two down, two to go. Again, you can make weight changes as you go through all four rounds. 10 seconds left on that clock. Grab water if you need it before we go into your next round. All right, five seconds, hands up, palms out. 10 more overhead passes. Here we go. You got 10. 
walk this nice tall posture into place, walk that lower back. If you need to add a push press to help get the weight up, by all means. Nice, three more. And then we're gonna sit down in that invisible chair, hold that squat for 10 seconds. You got it, all right, grab a seat, come on. See if you can sit a little bit deeper. Maybe you'll hold on to weight rather than go body weight. Almost there, in three, two, and one. Nice work, shake it out. One more round to go. And then we'll take a bigger break and I'm gonna show you the next superset. Grab some water. We got 10 seconds left on that clock. Hands up, palms out, tighten up your posture. In three, two, here we go. We got 10, nine, good. Add that push press if you need to, get those biceps to ears, come on. Last time here, five down, five to go. Five, four, you got it. Three, two, one more, one more, get ready to sit. You got it. Grab a seat, here we go. Hips back, chest up. Nice tall posture, I don't want you all hunched over, come on. In four, three, two, come on up. Nice, shake it out. Grab a quick drink for me. And we're gonna add or change any weights if you need to for the next superset. So, how the next one's gonna go down. You are gonna need a mat for push-ups. You're gonna need one dumbbell or one kettlebell. We're going to do snatches. We're gonna do five on the left, five on the right, so 10 total. And then we're gonna come down onto the floor and do five push-ups. Now, if you wanna make the push-ups easier, Go from the knees or elevate the hands off the floor. All right, 10 and then five. We got it, everybody's got a weight. Let's rock and roll. Squat it down, punch it up, reset, stay on the same side. Four, we're gonna do five per side. Three, good. You got it. Switching hands at the bottom whenever you're ready. Keeping that core nice and tight. One fluid motion from floor to ceiling. Keeping those eyes up. Pushing those hips back for the squat. Once you have done your 10, hit the deck. Five push-ups. Knees, toes, elevate the hands. There's 20 seconds left on that clock. Once you've done your five, come on up. There's only 10 seconds left. This one's gonna eat into our time just a little bit more. Make any weight changes. You ready for round two? Here we go. Good, eyes up, chest up. Keep that core tight. Sit those hips back. Good, get that bicep to ear at the top. Five and five. Keeping the weight super close to the body. Zip up that coat, punch the ceiling. Once you have done your 10 total, hit the deck. Five push-ups. Knees, toes, elevate those hands, whatever you gotta do. 25 seconds left on that clock, come on. Drop that chest straight down. Push away from the floor. Abs are tight, back is flat. Hips square to the floor. 10 second break. Two down, two to go. Make any weight changes. You ready? Three, two, here we go. Oh. Five and five. Watch your posture, watch your technique. Remember, we zip up that coat, we drive the elbow down, we punch straight up. Switching hands in the bottom position. Still keeping those eyes up, come on. Once you have done your 10, hit the deck. Good. Nice. Good, come on, 22 seconds on that clock. Five push-ups. Watch your posture. Woo. 
11 seconds. One second faster. We got one round left. We're gonna take a bigger break. We're gonna move on. In four, three, two, here we go. Snatch it up. Good. Five and five. Eyes up, core tight. Zip up that coat. Punch the ceiling, get that bicep to ear at the top. Come on. Switch hands at the bottom once you have done your five. Nice. Once you've done your 10, hit the deck. Five more push-ups, last time. Good work, come on. 23 seconds on that timer, we've got lots of time. Watch your posture, watch your technique. Abs are tight, back is flat. Woo. Grab water once you're done. Two supersets down. Three more to go. All right, moving on. We are going to do 10 deadlifts. So we're gonna do two dumbbells. Once you have done the deadlifts, we're gonna do five bent over rolls for the back. So here is your challenge. Whatever weight you use for the deadlifts, I want you to use for the rows. I know it's gonna be heavier, that's okay. You only gotta do five. So, when you are done with 10th deadlift, you're gonna stay in your bottom position. You'll do five narrow rows, or twisting, or wide. All right, so find two dumbbells. And your challenge is to keep the same weight for both moves. 10 deadlifts to get us going, here we go. Pull those shoulders back, push the hips back. Come on up, eyes are up. Keep that belly button pulled into the spine. Get that nice stretch in the hamstring. Squeeze that butt on the way up. We're aiming for the shoelaces. We're shaving the legs with the weight. 10 total. And once you have done 10, stay down in the bottom position. Five rows for the back. Narrow, twisting, or wide. You choose. Here we go. Drive those elbows up and back. I want you to feel that mid-back contract. You only gotta do five. Nice. Do you have 10 seconds left on that clock? Drink, change weights, whatever you gotta do. Get yourself set up. Woo, in five, four, three, two, here we go. Push those hips back, come on up. Make sure you're not looking down at the floor while your feet. I want those eyes up, keeping that nice flat or neutral spine. Keep that belly button pulled in to the spine. We need to support the lower back as we come down towards our shoes. 10 deadlifts. And then five rows. Keeping that same weight from the deadlift to the row, we're gonna challenge the back of it. Once you've done 10, stay in that bottom position. Drive those elbows up. Once you've done your five, take a break. We got 13 seconds left on that clock. Two rounds down, two to go. Make any weight changes if you need to. Take a couple of nice big deep breaths. Let's get ourselves set up. In three, two, here we go. Push those hips back. Good. Feel that stretch in the hamstring. Squeeze that butt on the way up. Keep those shoulders down and back. Nice neutral spine so we're not rounding our back as we come down. I don't care how low you get to the floor, as long as you're feeling that stretch in the hamstring, we are good. 10 deadlifts, five rows. Good, wide, twisting or narrow with those rows you choose. Woo, 15 seconds. We got one round left. We're gonna take a bigger water break. We're gonna move on. Woo, in five, four, three, two, here we go. Push those hips back. Get that nice stretch. 
Squeeze that butt on the way up. Keep those shoulders pulled down and back. You got it. See if you can get a little deeper into the deadlift now that you're nice and warmed up. 10 deadlifts, five rows, grab some water, catch your breath, and we're gonna move on. Woo! Nice work, 15 seconds left on that clock. Finish off what you gotta do, grab some water. No rush, my friends. Next super set, you're going to need two dumbbells or two kettlebells, whatever you prefer. We are going to do 10 cleans. So, have your palms face the legs. What we're going to do is squat down. We're going to tap the one end of the dumbbell down towards the floor and then clean to the shoulder. That is it. You do not go overhead. So 10 double cleans, come down onto the floor, 10 mount climbers, so that's five per leg and you can run it. You can step it. You can get those hands up off the floor if you need to make it easier. So find your weight that you're going to use. So 10 cleans, 10 bound climbers. Here we go. Squat it down. Clean it up. Eyes up. Push those hips back for the squat. Use that momentum to clean the weight to the shoulders, keeping the weight close to the body. Good. Once you have done 10, come down onto the floor, 10 mountain climbers. Good. Remember, elevate your hands if you want. You can run it, you can set it, 10 total. Nice, 20 second break. Now if you think you can go up a little bit in weight, I want you to do it. We have these longer rest periods. Let's take advantage of them. Let's push a little bit. Five seconds. You ready for round two? Three, two, there we go. Squat it down. Clean it up. Eyes up, chest up. Keep that core nice and tight. Set those hips back. Keep that chest up. Use that momentum to get the weight to the shoulder. 10 total. Then hit the deck. Mountain climbers, run it, step it, elevate those hands. You only gotta do 10. Make sure those hips are down. Abs are tight. Nice work. Two down, two to go. Make any weight changes, grab some water. Take a couple of nice big deep breaths. Whew. 10 seconds, we rock and roll. In five, four, three, here we go. Squat it down, clean it up. Good, check your posture. Core is tight, eyes are up. Weights are staying close to the body, you're not swinging them out in front. Once you've done 10, hit the deck for those bound climbers. Heart rate should be up. Make sure those hips are down. Nice work, 20 seconds left. We're staying consistent. Nice work, one more round. We take a bigger break. Our last super set is all down on the floor. We finish off with those core, some core. Oh my goodness, I'm losing my words. All right, you ready for round five or four? Not five, four. Here we go. Yep. Good. Eyes up, chest up. Core nice and tight. Push those hips back. Keep the dumbbells or kettlebells close to the body. Last time. Come on. Finish strong. Mountain climbers, run it, step it, elevate those hands. 
hands. Do what you got to do. There's only 10. Whew. Nice work. Finish it off. Finish it off. So, while you catch your breath, I'm going to show you the next two per set. You're going to need one dumbbell. We're going to come down into a plank position. 10 plank dumbbell drags. That's five in each direction. Then we roll over onto our back and we're gonna do 10 double crunches where we bring knees and elbows together like you're coming into a ball. So find one weight for me for the plank dumbbell drives. And remember you can do this either from the toes or the knees, but everyone's on their hands. So we're gonna reach under the body, pull. Reach under the body, pull. You ready? Everybody's got their weights. Everybody's on the floor. Here we go. We got 10 total. Eyes are on the floor. Belly button pulled up into the spine. Hips are down. Feet are nice and wide if you're on those toes. Once you have done 10, roll it over. Hands behind the head. Knees are up. Drive your belly button into the floor. Come into that ball. Hold. And then release. Hold. We only got to do five. Come on. Once you have done five, come on back over. We have about 15 seconds. All we got to do is rinse and repeat three more times. Make any weight changes if you want for the plank dumbbell drag. In five. Four. Three, two, pop it up. Here we go. Ten. Keep those hips down. Once you have done ten, flip it over. I want you to do about a one second hold when those knees and elbows come together. Hold and release. Really think about Using those abdominals to lift the shoulders and to pull those knees into the chest. You only got to do five. Nice. 20 seconds left. Two down, two to go. Whew. Grab water if you need it. 15 seconds. We're going to rock and roll. Take some nice big deep breaths. Bring your eyes up to the 
lowers the ceiling. And then we are going to push it back into child's pose. Reach those hands out in front if there's something that you want to grab. Sitting those hips back as much as you can. Good. Coming back forward into that cobra. See if you can let the hips sink a bit deeper. Bring your eyes up a little bit further onto the ceiling. And then sitting it back again. See if you can reach those hands out a little further in that child's pose. One more of each. Let those hips sink. Bring those eyes up a little bit further. One more time, sit it back. Reach those hands out in front. And then walk your hands either to the left or the right side of your mat. Getting a deeper stretch through the one side. Coming back to the center, other side. Back to center, you got it. Coming onto our hands and knees, take one hand, Spread it under, drop the shoulder, drop the hip. I want you to feel a stretch through the back of the shoulder. Coming back onto your hands and knees, spread the other side through, drop the shoulder, drop the hips. Play around with the angle of the body so that you can feel that stretch. And then come on up, flex the feet. Push those hips up, heels come down, head between the shoulders, getting into the calves. Bring one leg up towards your ceiling. Bring that knee to the same wrist. Slide the leg back. You can stay up nice and tall, or you can work your way down to the floor for a deeper stretch in that hip. Taking two or three nice big deep breaths. And then working your way back onto the hands, flexing that back foot, pushing the hips up again, heels back into the floor, bring the other leg up, bring that knee to the same wrist, slide the back foot back, stay nice and tall, or sit it down, or uh, come down closer to the mat for a deeper hip stretch. Working your way back up onto your hands, flexing that back foot. Heels back down into the floor, head between those shoulders, walking your feet towards the hands. I want you to hang like a right doll. Think of separating or pushing those shoulder blades apart. And then slowly standing it up. Vertebrae by vertebrae, bringing those shoulders down and back. Interlace those hands and let's open up through the chest. Keep the shoulders down. Stick that chest out as much as you can in front. Nice. Give yourselves a nice big old pat on the back. Nice quick tricep stretch, pushing those elbows back behind the head. And then switching sides whenever you're ready. We're gonna grab onto an ankle. If you need to hold onto a wall, by all means, grab an ankle, glue those knees together, and push that hip forward. And then we'll do the exact same thing on the other side. Grab an ankle, glue the knees together, push that hip forward, and you guys are done. Way to go with these EMOM supersets. Job well done. Hopefully you challenge yourself a little bit with your weights. Have an amazing rest of the day, and I'm going to see you in the next class.